We hear all kinds of talk in this world. One person says, I am self-educated. I do not owe anything to anyone. And he thinks he dares to pride himself on that. Another says, That distinguished master was my teacher, and I count it an honor to dare to call myself his pupil. And he thinks he can take pride in that. We shall not decide how legitimate this kind of talk is. But in order to make sense, it can be applied only to the superbly endowed, those who were either originally self-sufficient, or at least so gifted that they could become pupils of the distinguished. But we, devout listeners, we who were too insignificant to become pupils, what should we say if a man said, When people disdained me, I went to God. He became my teacher, and this is my salvation, my joy, my pride. Would this be less beautiful? And yet every person can say that may say that, can say that truthfully, then it is not because the thought is untrue, but because he distorts it. Every person may say it. Whether his forehead is almost as flat as an animal's or arches more proudly than heaven. Whether his arm is stretched out to command kingdoms and countries, or to pick up the scanty gifts that fall from the rich man's table. Whether thousands obey his beck and call, or not one soul pays any attention to him. Whether eloquence blossoms on his lips, or only unintelligible sound passes over them whether he is the mighty male who defies the storm or the defenseless female who only seeks shelter from the gale. This has nothing to do with the matter, my listener, absolutely nothing. Every person dares to say it, if he possesses faith, because this glory is the very glory of faith. And you know it, my listener. You do not become afraid when it is mentioned, as if it thereby would be taken from you, as if only in the moment of parting you would gain a taste of its blessedness. Or do you not know this? Ah, then you would indeed be most unfortunate. You could not even grieve and say, the giver of good gifts passed by my door. You could not grieve and say, The storms and gales took it from me, because the giver of good gifts did not pass by your door, and the storms and gales did not take it from you, because they were unable to do that. Saren Kierkegaard Two Upbuilding Discourses From 18 Upbuilding Discourses by Howard V. and Edna H. Hong Pages 12 and 13 